Okay, first we have to uh, draw the resonating structures of NO3 minus. We have NO, there is only one minus, double bond O and double bond O and one minus charge here. Always make sure that when you're moving the electrons, it has to be from more electrons to the less electrons. So it is going to go here and come here. This is the one possibility. And what is the other possibility? When it is coming here, the electrons, this pi bond will go to this particular oxygen. So let's draw the two resonating structures. Double bond O, O minus double bond O. And then second one will be N double bond O, O minus N double bond O. Now, finding the bond order, let's say uh, we have to find out the bond order between this nitrogen and oxygen. Then it is going to be, you have to find out the number of bonds here. First is one, then two, then two, and divided by total number of structures is three. That means five by three. So this is going to be the bond order for NO3 minus. Now, next is CO3 two minus. For CO3 two minus, we have one carbon, three oxygen, and there is two minus. So make sure that two of these oxygens will have negative charge. And the rest one remaining will have a double bond. Now draw the possible resonating structures here. So this can be always from more electrons to the less electrons. So here, uh, this these electrons can come here. This is one possibility. Another is one, this is coming from here. And this is another possibility. So let's draw these structures. We will have C double bond O, O minus, and O minus. And for the second one, we will have C double bond O, double bond. Oh, second. O minus and O minus. Is there any other possibility? This has got negative charge, this has got negative charge, and this has got like these two, then these two, and then these two. There is no other possibility. So now let's find out the bond order between any bond of carbon and oxygen. Okay, let's say if you want to take this one, you can take this one also. It's the same thing, no difference. That it's not necessary that you have to draw for. Um, Yeah, it's not necessary that you are, I'm, I'm taking this. If you want, you can take this. Bond order will be same. So if I check here, first there is one single bond plus double bond, then again single bond divided by three structures. That is four by three. So bond order here is four by three. Is it clear? SO4 two minus and PO4 three minus we have already done in the examples. I'm not going to do it again. Let's do for the ClO4 minus. Of course, chlorine is going to be the central atom and there are four oxygen and there's one negative charge. That means one of the oxygen will have negative charge and rest will be double one. Now just draw the resonating structures. If they come here, this can go to this side. Then we will have chlorine, double bond O, O minus, double bond O, and double bond O. Next possibility can be when this is coming here, this is going to this position. Then we will have chlorine, double bond O, double bond O, O minus, and double bond O. And the third possibility is when it is coming to this position, the lone pairs will shift to here. Chlorine, double bond O. O minus double bond O and double bond O. Is there any other possibility? Do you think is there is any other possibility by which you can do the resonance? This is it, okay? So you will have bond order. Find out the number of bonds here. One, two, two, two divided by total number of resonating structures are four. That means seven by four. Is it clear? Snick do aapka wrong hai ek baar check karna.
okay fine so let's continue with this predicting the structure of the molecule okay this vscpr theory is very important a lot of questions are going to come from here so let's go back remember this table and remember in this particular way only now i am drawing table 2 and in this table we are going to include now the lone pairs also and how it is affecting the shape of a molecule so here i'm writing general formula number of bond pairs number of lone pairs arrangement of electron pairs then what will be the shape and ultimately examples you people use scale and all everything okay i can also use this thing no how to use it from here lines okay Okay, this will take a lot of time. I'm going to, I'm going to draw it normally only. Please cooperate. Okay, so the first example we will be talking about. Uh, there is one lone pair, and there have to be two bond pairs. Okay, so let's say I have A B two, and E is representing here lone pairs. Let's say E is lone pair. Electron for E. So I have two bond pairs. So number of bond pairs is two, and number of uh, lone lone pair is one. Okay. Abhi dekho. Anyways, two plus one three. Agar kisi bhi uh, central atom ke around you have three bond pairs or lone pairs, whatever it is, what shape you you will be getting? Tell me. What will be the shape of that particular molecule if three is there? See the previous table. When the value is three, although it is all bond pairs, but the value is three. What shape were you getting? Triagonal planar, not linear, Krish. Linear was for two bond pairs, no? It was triagonal planar with maximum distance. Okay, so here also it is going to be the same thing. So let's say A is the central atom, and I have these two B, and there is one electron. So they will be in the trigonal planar shape only. But when we are going to define the shape of that particular molecule, in that case, we are not going to include the lone pairs. Okay, I will only see the bond pairs. So I have here. b single bond a single bond b this lone pair will not be included in the shape so this looks like a bent shape so we call it as a bent so draw it originally considering that as if there are all uh, bond pairs only draw in that particular manner but while telling the shape forget about the lone pairs only uh, see the uh, bond pairs only got it is it clear For example, I am taking SO two. Examples le lete sulfur. SO two. Now sulfur is a central atom. So first of all, understand that how many valence electrons are there in sulfur. I am also teaching you here how to draw the structures. Okay. So first of all, tell me how many valence electrons are there in sulfur. Six. Okay. So what I am going to do is. 
I am going to draw all those six in this central atom. There are three, so I'm going to draw it like this. SO2, two oxygen are there. There is no negative charge. So they will be forming double bond. And this is your one lone pair, which is not participating in anything. So now while drawing the structure, I use the trigonal planar because altogether the value of 2 plus 1 was 3. So I'll consider it as a 3 only. So while drawing the structure, I'll draw it in this particular manner. But when I'm telling the shape of that particular molecule, then I will not be considering the lone pairs. I will only be considering the bond pairs. And bond pair is giving me a bent shape. This, just imagine this lone pair is not here. So you're getting a bent shape, no? That's it. We are not going to consider this lone pair. And here, the second last, postul uh, second last uh, postulate of VSCPR theory was saying that these uh, pi bonds, or you can say that this double bond, which is present in between sulfur and oxygen, we will consider them as one only while drawing the structure. You, you won't be like, you're not going to do that. In dono ko saath mein rakhoge, aur jab hum geometry explain kar rahe, to I will not consider them separate. Separately, I consider them as one only. This is what the second loss, second last uh, postulate of PSCPR theory. Is it clear, Sampada? Abhi samajhaya? Okay. So this was your first. Structure. Now let's talk about second one. Second one will be A, B, three, E. So I have number of bond pairs three and lone pair one. Three plus one, four. Now check the previous table and tell me what should be the um, arrangement of electron pairs here when you have the value four. Three yes, it is tetrahedral. Good. So in the same way, you are going to draw the tetrahedral only. Here at the center, this is B, this is B, this is B, and one of the position is occupied by the lone pair. Is it clear? Now, while telling the shape of this particular molecule, I will not be considering the lone pair. So what should be the shape here? What do you think? Is it in plane? Is the shape in plane? Tell me what type of shape you are going to get. Yes, it is trigonal, but it is not in the plane. Okay, it is not in the plane. So it will be called as trigonal pyramidal. Okay, just imagine the tetrahedral structure which I have shown you yesterday. One of the portion is occupied by the lone pairs and the rest is the same. So I will only consider these bond pair and if I join them like this I see that they are forming a pyramid with three corners so this is known as trigonal pyramidal and there is only one pyramid uh, pyramid so we will have one this is known as trigonal pyramidal very common example is NH3 you know that nitrogen has a lone pair and three bond pairs so one of the positions will be occupied by lone pairs and rest of the position will be occupied by uh, bond pairs. Is it clear? Okay, let me show you the uh, <clears throat> 3D structure of ammonia, okay? This is nitrogen, okay? These are three hydrogens attached to it like this. You can see that they are forming some kind of pyramid. They are not in plane. And then it has one lone pair which they haven't shown. Okay? So lone pair will be like this. Just one minute.
the lone pairs will be present here and we don't consider them in the geometry that is why they have not given it but you got the rough idea how the shape and structure is for ammonia okay now in this structure only i am explaining we had methane tetrahedral when all were bond pairs you can imagine tetrahedral same way hydrogen instead of nitrogen there will be carbon and one more hydrogen at the top so here there was some repulsion between the electrons of these bond pairs there will always be repulsion but they are going to arrange in themselves in such a manner that they experience the minimum repulsion now we have a lone pair here and i have told you that lone pair lone pair repulsion is greater than lone pair bond pair repulsion is greater than bond pair bond pair repulsion so the repulsion which was happening here in methane it was bond pair bond pair repulsion but here it is going to be lone pair and bond pair repulsion this lone pair is going to repel little bit of the electrons which are present here so repulsion is going to be more yes or no yes krish like a tripod repulsion is going to be more because here you have lone pairs and lone pairs occupy more space which i have told you in the previous class so they are going to experience lone pair uh, repulsion so will there be any difference in their bond angle what do you think will there be any difference in their bond angle Okay, first of all, tell me what is the bond angle for tetrahedral? What is the bond angle for tetrahedral? You have to remember all these things. This is one zero nine point five. Okay. Now, this is when all the repulsion were between bond pair and bond pair. All the bond angles will be one zero nine only same. But now instead of a bond pair, I have a lone pair. That means this lone pair is rep repelling this hydrogen more. Repelling means it is pushing the hydrogen little bit towards this uh, side. So that means bond angle will increase or decrease. If this is pushing this bond towards this side, what is bond angle? Bond angle is between. It is the angle between the three atoms. So angle between this nitrogen and it is and it is repelling all these. hydrogens equally because all are at equal distances so what is going to happen is they are going to be pushed little bit towards inside and the bond angle is going to decrease and it will decrease to 107 degrees okay so due to the presence of lone pair the bond angle between these atoms is also decreasing understood okay so write down here and bond angle is always always between the atoms don't never include uh, lone pairs and tell that the uh, bond angle between this hydrogen nitrogen and lone pair is this much never it is always going to be between the bond pairs so this hydrogen this nitrogen and this hydrogen the bond angle is going to be 107 degrees so it has decreased from normal tetrahedral bond angle that is 109.5 to 107 is it clear okay now third one is i can have ab2 e2 okay still two bond pairs and two lone pairs the value is 4 what should be the actual structure when whenever the value is 4 what should be the structure Or what should be the shape? Again, tetrahedral, and it does not matter if you have one lone pair or if you have two lone pairs. If there the value is coming out to be four, it is always going to be tetrahedral only. But now you have two lone pairs. So I am taking this A as the central atom. we have we i am going to arrange it in the in the form of uh, tetrahedral only so this is your lone pair and this is your one more lone pair is it clear now again i am not going to uh, 
consider the lone pairs for the shape. So I am only going to consider H. Sorry, H. It's B. B, A, and H. So what shape you are getting here? Just consider that and think that what shape is this? Imagine the structure in your head and then tell me. If I'm considering only B, A, and B. Yes, good. Very good. It is a bent shape. Okay. And the very common example here is water. Oxygen has two lone pairs here. Okay. So O, one hydrogen here, one hydrogen here, one lone pair here, and one lone pair here. This is an example of water. Now, again, here we have lone pair, lone pair repulsion. And here we have lone pair, bond pair repulsion. And we know that lone pair, lone pair repulsion is way more than lone pair, bond pair and bond pair, bond pair. So again, they are going to push these hydrogen atoms little bit to what direction? Yes or no? Same thing is going to happen here. So here, bond angle is going to decrease again. And this bond angle will become, now this will become 1, 0, 4.5. Because lone pair, lone pair repulsion is way greater than as compared to lone pair, bond pair repulsion. Draw this. Structure looks structure. Now let us study a water molecule and try to determine its shape according to the Mendelian theory. Two of the four electron pairs in the molecule are lone pairs. However, these two are occupied by two pairs. It explains why a water molecule is nonlinear or V shaped. We should predict that the angle between the hydrogen atoms ought to be slightly smaller than the regular tetrahedral angle, and also smaller than in an ammonia molecule. Because here, the bonding electron pairs are repelled by two lone pairs. Has been determined to be exactly as 
pair is four and number of lone pair is one. Now tell me when the value is four plus one, five, what should be the usual structure? Only pentagonal, no pentagonal. Check. Renuka, check the previous table and then tell me if the value is five altogether, what shape we are getting. Yes, Sampada, you are right. Trigonal by pyramidal. Not only pyramid, Krish, trigonal by pyramidal. Okay, Jaita, Pragna, and everyone is correct. Good. So when you have the value of five, it will be trigonal by pyramidal. What is trigonal bipyramidal? That means you have a central atom and then you have three positions as the trigonal, one at the top and one at the bottom. This is known as trigonal bipyramidal. Now we have four bond pairs and one lone pairs and we have to just place this one lone pair somewhere between these five positions. Now always make sure that whenever there is a trigonal bipyramidal, your lone pair will be at equatorial position. Okay, this position is known as equatorial. All these three positions are equatorial and the one which is present at the top and the one which is present at the bottom, these positions are known as axial. And this is your equatorial. So for trigonal bipyramidal, you have to remember no matter how many lone pairs are there, make sure that all the, if there, even if there are two lone pairs, they will be present at equatorial position only. So you are going to join it with this. This is your trigonal and one bond pair at the top and the one bond pair at the bottom. Here, now again, while telling the shape of the molecule, I'll not be considering the lone pairs here. I'll be only considering the bond pairs. So this is going to like, I have this bond pair, this bond pair, this bond pair, and this bond pair. So if you see the structure from this side, Okay, you will you will see that it is a seesaw kind of structure. So this is seesaw. So the geometry is going to be seesaw. Let's take the example. Example is SF4. So now in the exam, they will give you like this only SF4. What is the shape? So what you have to do is first understand that how many valence shell for sulfur is there sorry valence electrons are there for sulfur you know six one two three four five and six and we have four f one two three and four like this so now i know that there are four bond pairs and there is one lone pair and whenever this condition comes that is four bond pairs and one lone pair that means it is going to be trigonal bipyramidal and not considering the position of lone pair so it will be seesaw so how i am going to draw this sulfur one of the electrons will be at the actual position and rest you have to draw like this got it so even if a new structure comes if you know this value three four five six and seven what its usual geometry should be and you know where you have to place the lone pairs you will definitely be able to find out the shape of molecule. Understood? Is it clear, everyone? Let me know. So let me see if I can show you the geometry of SF4. Yeah. Chlorine atoms over here. Sets to mo uh, molecular geometry and the shape of resemblance with. Uh, apart from each other, if you look at this the structure, it is somewhat like this. Um, due to the lone pair that is present. Okay. So you can see here in the 3D structure, this is your one, two, one above the plane, one below the uh, below the plane. 
This is your trigonal pyramid. You have one lone pair. These three are joined like this. Okay, so these three positions are equatorial position. This is equatorial position. This is equatorial position. This is equatorial position. And this, which are present at the top, this is known as your axial position. So they have drawn it in this particular way. Let's see if they have moved it so that for all so much men. From the sulfur atom, these two chlorine atoms are pushed uh, apart from each other. And hence, there is this structure which, which has a quite resemblance with seesaw. So this is known as seesaw molecular geometry. You can also confirm it by using AX and notation method. Okay, you got the idea how the structure is in 3D geometry. Okay. Next is your... You just have to remember if it is three, whether it is lone pair or not lone pair, it will be trigonal planar. If it's four, tetrahedral. If it is five, trigonal bipyramidal. If it is six, then it is octahedral. And if it is seven, then pentagonal bipyramidal. Now, lone pairs ko kaise arrange karna hai? Bas humko wo hai. So let's, let's take the uh, second, no, fifth example. This is A, B, 3, E, 2. Okay. Again, bond pair is three, lone pair is two. That means value is coming out to be 5. Again, it is going to be what? Trigonal bipyramidal only. No other geometry. Now I have to arrange them. I have told you that for trigonal bipyramidal, always place lone pairs at the equatorial position. So I have here A. These are all equatorial positions and these are actual positions. At equatorial positions of any of the two uh, sides, I am going to just do like this. These are two lone pairs. You can put here also, it's the same thing. But in the same way, we are drawing it in 2D. It is not that easy to, to explain. So now I will not include lone pairs. Include nahi okay? I am not going to include these uh, lone pairs in the geometry. So what kind of geometry you can observe? Kya dikh hai? This is B, B, and B. What can you see here? Which shape is showing? Yes, something like T. Good, Sampada. The shape is T shape. An example is CLF. Three. This is the example. Again, as the question will give you CLF3. Geometry with all. Chlorine ka valence likh lo pehle. Seven electrons with the valence. Teen to form kar rahe fluorine ke saath. Aur do baj gai lone pairs. To ye konsa wala case a gaya? Fifth wala case. That means T-shape ho ga. Ab, ab isko T-shape mein draw karne. Chlorine is at the center. And here one lone pair. Here one lone pair, fluorine, fluorine, and fluorine. Right down this. Okay, let me show you the video for this. Okay, just one. The molecule of chlorine trifluoride also has five electron pairs around the central atom. Three of them form bonds, and two are lone pairs. Therefore, the molecule is T-shaped. Lone pairs are sitting. 
ओके यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट हियर एक लोन पैर इधर पे है ये सब इक्विटोरियल पोजीशन है वन अब वन बिलो तो हमको लोन पैर कंसिडर नहीं करना है बस हमको यही देखना है तो हमको कैसा शेप दिख रहा है टी शेप in the plane of the triangle the interval angles are approximately 90 degrees and 180 degrees okay so you got the idea okay next is 6 this is a b 5 e that means how many bond pairs is there here 5 just one minute yeah bond pair is 5 lone pair is 1 total value 5 plus 6 now tell me what should be the shape generally generally shape kya hona chahiye jab sare bond pairs hai tab Yes, octahedral. Octahedral means four in equatorial position and then one above the plane, one below the plane. You remember the octahedral shape, no? Everyone. So now A will be at the center here. Okay, and we have four equatorial positions and two axial positions. Now, in trigonal bipyramidal, we were placing the lone pairs at the equatorial position, but in octahedral geometry we will always place the lone pairs in axial position okay so this is your axial positions or these are your equatorial positions so now lone pair will be like this not in equatorial position but axial position i will tell you why this is happening i'll tell you about all these things okay abhi clear bas yaad karo this is b b b b and b so why writing the geometry i am not going to consider the lone pair so forget about the lone pairs i have these four in equatorial positions and this one is below the plane or you could have taken it at above the plane also whatever you feel so what kind of shape you feel this is it is a 3d shape okay हाँ गुड इट्स नॉट टेट्राहेड्रॉन बेटा ध्यान से देखो टेट्राहेड्रॉन थोड़ी है इट्स नॉट अ रेगुलर टेट्रा चार का मतलब ये नहीं कि रेगुलर टेट्राहेड्रॉन हो जाएगा आप देखो बेस स्क्वायर है और एक ऊपर स्ट्रक्चर आ रहा है तो इट इज अ स्क्वायर पिरामिडल सो दिस इज दोमेट्री इज स्क्वायर okay and if we take the example i am taking the example of x e o f 4 in some me se jo sabse least electronegative hai wo x hai to maine aapko ye bataya tha ki central atom kaise choose karna hai jo sabse less electronegative hoga x e is the least electronegative to x e ko maine center pe rakh diya okay ab dekho hamesha isko dekh ke aapko kabhi nahi pata chalega ki ye kaisa shape ban raha hai sabse pehle to xenon ek नोबल गैस है बैलेंस में एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स होंगे चार फ्लोरीन है फ्लोरीन जोड़ एंड कोई नेगेटिव चार्ज नहीं है मतलब ऑक्सीजन क्या फॉर्म कर रहा होगा डबल बॉन्ड सो दैट मींस देयर इज वन इलेक्ट्रॉन हियर वन इलेक्ट्रॉन हियर दैट मींस वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव फाइव बॉन्ड पेयर आई टोल्ड यू दैट डबल बॉन्ड भी होगा तो उसको सिंगल बॉन्ड की तरह कंसिडर करो सो फोर प्लस वन फाइव और एक लोन पेयर तो ये कौन सा कंडीशन आ रहा है स्क्वायर पिरामिडल का अब आप इसको स्क्वायर पिरामिडल के शेप में प्रॉपरली ड्रॉ करिए ये आइडेंटिफाई करना पहले कि क्या हो सकता है एंड देन उसको फिर प्रॉपर ड्रॉ करो सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एक्स ई को यहाँ पे रखो वन टू थ्री फोर यहाँ पे लगा दिया फ्लोरिंग यहाँ पे एक लोन पेयर और नीचे हो गया डबल बॉन्ड पेयर वट इट लेट मी नो
see this shape. Xenon form two oxides, XeO3 and XeO4. The agent is the free hybridization. Abhi hybridization pe hum nahi jayenge. Hybridization next topic hai. You just see the geometry. In XeO4, Xe undergoes sp3 hybridization to chloride. They are xenon oxychloride, XeOF2, xenon and shape is T shape. In Xe OF4, Xe undergoes sp3 D2 hybridization and shape. Can you see four at the equatorial positions? This double bond O at the bottom and lone pair at the top. In XP OF4, XE undergoes SPP3 D2 hybridization and shape square pyramidal. In XEO2 F2, XE undergoes S. Okay, now seventh one is A, B, 4, E2. Again, I have number of bond pairs 4, number of loans 2, value is 6. So, kya dega? again, it is going to be octahedral. And since it is octahedral, now I will be placing my loan pairs only at the axial positions only. Make sure that. So, I have A. All these B will be like this. And I have two lone pairs. So one lone pair at the top, one lone pair at the top. Tell me what geometry you are getting, what shape you are getting. It's a square, simple square. So this will be Square planar. Plane mein hai. Is liye hum bolte hain isko square planar. Okay. Bhavna linear square nahi bolte. Square planar bolte hain. Okay. This is how these things are done. Agar hum example ki baat kare yaha pe. Example hai. X E F 4. S exam mein de dega. Aapko kuch idea nahi hoga. So what you gonna do is. Sab se pahle X E hai lo. Sare uske valence electrons. Char fluorine hai. Char fluorine jodte hain. So, you can see four bond pairs, two bond pairs. What case is there? AB4, E2. AB4, E2 is going to give you square plane. Simply, your structure is going to be XE, F4, one lone pair at the top and one lone pair at the bottom. Okay. Now, last is... A, B, 5, E2. Bond pair is 5. Lone pair is 2. That means 5 plus 2. What is the value is coming? 7. 7 clay cons are shape over normal case. Mein. Jaldi se batao, what will be the shape? Regular case me kya hoga? Pentagonal bipolar. Take it. The yaha pe bhi dhyan rakna hai ki lone pairs jo hai, wo actual position pe rahenge. Pentagon hai, matlab A or A regular pentagon ki tarah B, 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 B and B. A lone pair. Upper or a lone pair. Okay. Ab, of course, my lone pair ko to consider karungi nahi. Hamare paas se jo shape hai, wo kaisa dikh raha hai? Ye pentagon hai. Aur kaisa pentagon hoga? Plane mein. This is known as pentagonal planar. Example, agar hum baat kare. Example, I am taking 
x e f फाइव माइनस अब देखो इस इसको हम कैसे ड्रॉ करें मुझे कैसे पता चलेगा क्या है इसमें x ही लिख दो वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लिख दो एंड वी हैव योर f फाइव ओके इसको फाइव है वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव तो फाइव बॉन्ड पेयर हो गए और माइनस चार्ज है तो एक और एक्स्ट्रा इलेक्ट्रॉन होगा वो भी लिख दो तो फाइव बॉन्ड पेयर टू लोन पेयर दैट मीन्स कौन सा केस आ गया एथ वन अब इसको आप so you will have your x e 1 2 3 4 and 5 and one lone lone pair above the plane one lone pair below the plane understood so agar aapko puri bhi structure de de with lone pair or without lone pair kya aap find out kar sakte ho geometry kaisi hogi uski kya shape hoga क्वेश्चन दे रहे हो क्वेश्चन करो यूज बी एस सी पी आर थ्योरी टू प्रेडिक्ट दी जोमेट्री ऑफ फॉर्मे A is x e f two and B is c l o three minus. Find out करो क्योंकि अभी आप रट नहीं सकते सारे geometries तो देखना पड़ेगा आपको कितने lone pairs हैं कितने bond pairs हैं जैसे मैंने बताया वैसे check करके फर्स्ट इज यस गुड योर आंसर इज राइट Yes, Bhavna, your answer is right. Good. Jaita, your first one is wrong, but uh, second one is correct. ओके वन थिंग जयता यू यू आर नॉट हैव टू यू डोंट हैव टू कंसीडर द लोन पेयर्स इन द शेप आई थिंक यू आर कंसीडरिंग द लोन पेयर्स डोंट कंसीडर देम ओनली फाइंड द ओनली टेक द बॉन्ड पेयर्स ड्रॉ द शेप ओरिजिनली हाउ इट शुड बी बट स्निक दो इट्स रॉन्ग फर्स्ट इज रॉन्ग स्निक दो नहीं नहीं संपदा इट्स नॉट ट्राइगनल बाइपिन देखो इधर कैसे करना है बस
सिंपल सा है आई टोल्ड यू लाइक एट एग्जाम्पल उसके बाद भी नहीं कर पा रहे हो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव जन ऑन no xenon has the valence shell 8 just draw all these electrons eight valence electrons you know this now uh, abhi correct hai one second ha sampada abhi correct hai bhavna aapka bhi correct hai and two fluorine hai idhar two fluorine laga diye clearly dikh raha hai mere paas two bond pairs hai aur three lone pairs hai one two and three lone pairs that means value 5 5 value 5 hai to uska ओरिजिनल शेप क्या होना चाहिए ट्राइगोनल बायिडल ये होना चाहिए बट मेरे पास लोन पेयर है और लोन पेयर को हम कंसिडर नहीं करते सो दिसन इज एट देंट ऑफ एंड आई नो दैट फॉर ट्राइगोनल बाय पिरामिडल लोन पेयर आर प्लेस एट द इक्विटोरियल पोजिशन एंड बॉन्ड पेयर आर प्लेस इन एक्चुअल पोजिशन सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू कंसिडर द Three lone pairs only consider this bond pair. So shape simply क्या आ रहा है linear. Got it? Is it that difficult? Next second one. Second one ClO three minus. Of course chlorine is the central atom. So first simply check कर लो what should be the shape. chlorine has the seven lone pairs so i have these seven lone pairs and it is forming and there is one negative charge also that means one extra electron now we have three uh, oxygen here so they will be forming bond like this okay no no don't draw the extra here because oxygen will have a negative charge and one O here with a negative charge and one pair. Now I can see here one, two, three, and four. So three bond pairs and one bond pair. And I'm going to consider double bond as a single bond only. Value is coming out to be four. If the value is four, it has to be. It should be tet uh, tetrahedral. But there is one lone pair present here, so you are going to put a lone pair here. And draw it like this. So what is it? Ignore the lone pairs. So the geometry or the shape is going to be trigonal pyramidal. Understood? Bhavna always write trigonal pyramidal hai ya square pyramidal hai. वो आपको हमेशा बताना पड़ेगा question में. Okay? So this is three atoms. So you should always write trigonal by pyramidal. Okay? If anyone have any doubt, just do ask me. कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है कोई चीज वो टेबल थोड़ा सा याद करना पड़ेगा बट अगर थोड़ा समझ के करोगे तो दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट रिक्वायर्ड so i am giving you some questions draw the shapes of following molecules using bse pr theory first is ccl4 NH4 plus SiH4 then we have PCl5 SOF4 X E O two F two. Then we have I C L three. I C L two minus 
SF6. ECL6 minus. Then we have BRF. Then XEF4. ICL4 minus. IF7. X E F six, then you have to draw all these structures. I F six minus X E F five minus. Draw the structure of all these. Okay, uh, what we can do is you do all these questions for homework, okay? And I will discuss this in the next class. And you have, uh, I think, class from 1130 maths class, no?